Uh, hi, everybody. So today I'm going to talk about uh, solar cell simulation with Lumerical tools. Actually, fundamental part. So my name is Majid. I hold the PhD in photonics. So I'm working at Ozen Engineering. At Ozen Engineering, we are experts in simulation of optics and photonics, structural, thermal, fluid, and electromagnetic fields. Actually, we offer consulting, training, mentorship, and technical support. And also we provide ANSYS software tools. So uh, actually ANSYS Lumerical uh, provide us a broad range of applications as you see here in this slide. So ANSYS Lumerical cover, uh, cover circuit simulation like Lumerical Interconnect, Quantum Interconnect, uh, Photonic very like A and compact model um, compiler. So, and also in the component level, it depends on uh, what kind of application do you need. Uh, actually, ANSYS Lumerical provides uh, a solution for in the component level, for instance, um, in solar cell application, we need numerical FDTD and uh, charge and heat. Actually, we start with numerical FDTD uh, to simulate optical parameters, and then we use a, a heat and charge to uh, study regarding to the you know heat and charge distribution. So I will describe. Uh, in next slide, so uh, so for the planar silicon solar cell, actually, as I said, we use a, a FDTD charge and heat to simulate just one D planar silicon solar cell. So the key performance figure of merit in solar cell simulation is a short circuit current. So field factor, uh, open circuit voltage, and uh, photovoltaic efficiency. So as you see here, the workflow of, of uh, solar cell simulation, we start with uh, numerical FDTD. So we calculate optical and heat generation. And uh, uh, so the output of heat go to the uh, heat solver and uh, then uh, in the heat solver, we, can, we extract a temperature profile and also uh, the optical generation goes to the uh, lumerical charge and we can calculate the different parameter, as I mentioned, for instance, um, efficiency, short circuit current, open circuit voltage and field factor. So what is the, what is the, uh, physics behind this solver. So we have uh, three equations. The first one is current density equations. In, in, in current density equations, so you need to understand the meaning of drift and diffusion. So as we, uh, as we see in this slide, and in this equation, the first part is the drift and the second part is diffusion. So the drift equation, drift current is depend, depends on the the, the electric field, as, is, as you see here. And the mu n and mu p is the mobility of electrons and holes. And the second part is the diffusion. The diffusion, it depends on the, uh, the, um, the uh, non-uniformity distribution of hole and electrons. So it's actually material property and, uh, with this equation, we can calculate the um, current density. So the, the second equation is continuity equations. Actually, uh, charge, as we know, charge is a conserved quantity. So, so the, the total amount of charge inside the volume V only can be changed while charge is flowing through the boundary surface S of this volume. So as you see in this equation, the the current density uh, and the um, total charge uh, uh, 
we can see how how these two parameters connected together and uh, so finally here we see that uh, uh, drift diffusion recombination and generation uh, They, they are they are in, in these equations and uh, we can calculate the generation uh, generation rate from the uh, from the optical simulation and the recombination depends on the material property and JN and JP it's uh, I mean um, current uh, of uh, electrons and, and holes. So, and the third equation is Poisson equation. So Poisson equation, you see that the uh, density of electric charge, uh, it depends on to the electric potential. So as you see in this picture and as in this slide. So, uh, so ND and NA is a donor and an acceptor. Uh, impurity that we inject in our semiconductor. So uh, let's summarize uh, this equation, for instance, for 1D case. So as you see here in, uh, in this equation, the first one is poison. So depends on the doping density. These two equation, JN and JP, um, it's drift diffusion equation. So the, the DN and DP, and mu n and mu p is a, a material property. So, and this one also is, uh, uh, we can see that uh, generation that we can calculate from the optical part and R and R or P is recombination. So, uh, so for the solar energy, we use a M1, AM 1.5, actually uh, it indicates that the sunlight is radiating through the atmosphere at the angle of 41.8 degree above the horizon. So you see here, this is a spectrum of, of uh, solar uh, energy that we will consider in our calculation. And in compared to black body radiation that governed by these equations, uh, so we see that uh, 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 spectral irradiance uh, is, is lower than the black body radiation because, because of the sun go, comes from the atmosphere. Yeah. So now we, uh, we are familiar with uh, a different equation. So, uh, so let's... Uh, uh, go to the uh, to the lumerical software. 